Hi guys, this is Mr. Herbst here, and today's focus is going to be on the four layers of the alimentary canal. Now, what actually is the alimentary canal? Well, you can think of that sort of like your food tube. It is what food actually goes through. It starts over here in the mouth where it's chewed and then it's swallowed. Food will travel down into the, through the esophagus and into the stomach, uh, eventually entering the duodenum, which is the first part of the small intestine, and then it will go through all of this stuff the jejunum and the ileum, all of this long coily thing, uh, which is where food is um, absorbed into the blood so that other cells can use it. Um, eventually, it will travel into the cecum. This is the first part of the large intestine where water will begin to be absorbed out of the food that you ate, and eventually that will travel down um, into the anus where it will be excreted into the external environment otherwise known as poo at that point. Now, there is an organ on here that is not part of the alimentary canal, and that here is our pancreas. It is not part of the alimentary canal. Food never has to go through the pancreas. The pancreas simply supplies certain substances that help digestion occur. So I'm going to go ahead and scratch that bad dog out of there. Stupid pancreas. Uh, not part of the alimentary canal. We have four layers of our uh, alimentary canal. It, it starts with the mucosa layer. That's layer one. That is the innermost layer. That is the layer that is lining what's called the lumen. The lumen, the lumen is the innermost. The, it, it is where the food actually pat, travels through. So I'll go ahead and write in food. So the lumen is the hole that the food travels through. The first layer that is touching the food at all times is called the mucosa layer. Next, we have our submucosa layer. That's the next innermost layer. Then we have the muscle layer. Uh, then we have the serosa layer. Now, I know that's a lot to remember, but each one of these layers has a, a, a specific function. The mucosa layer, um, well, not surprisingly, it gives off mucus, um, as the root word would suggest. It also is the layer that has certain cells that can give off certain enzymes and substances, such as in your stomach you have some... Uh, uh, the mucosa layer will, will give off hydrochloric acid. The submucosa layer has lots and lots of blood vessels. These blood vessels aid in absorption. They are connected to the rest of our body. So um, things will be, will be absorbed in the mucosa layer, but eventually will pass into the submucosa layer where the blood will pick them up and take them to wherever they need to go. Then we have our muscul muscle layer where we actually have Two types of muscles, and in our stomach we actually have three, but in most of the alimentary canal we have two types of muscles. Uh, these muscles work in opposite directions where they can move the food through the alimentary canal. And then finally we have our serosa layer, which is the outermost layer. Um, it's like a covering over all of the organs in the alimentary canal, and it, uh, it secretes a certain substance called um, serous fluid. And serous fluid acts like a, a lubricant, which uh, keeps organs from sticking to each other. Here's a different way to look at it. Uh, here we have a cross-section of our, um, our four layers that line the alimentary canal. This here uh, is the lumen. Food will pass through that little hole right there. So you can see that the first layer that, that food touches is called the mucosa layer. That layer is responsible for giving off certain substances. Um, it also lines the entire alimentary canal with a layer of mucus, which helps to protect the um, it, it helps to protect protect the alimentary canal from basically digesting itself. The submucosa layer, you can see all the blood vessels, all all the glands that are in there. Um, this is where absorption uh, occurs, is where uh, blood will pick up things that are absorbed into the blood and move them around wherever they need to go. Then we have our muscular muscular layer where we have the two types of muscles that move and push food around through the alimentary canal. And then finally we have our serosa layer here which is the outermost layer that acts as a covering or a protection over the rest of the other layers. So let's go ahead and review. Uh, the mucosal layer is the innermost layer. It's responsible for um, absorbing as well as uh, secreting mucus and other enzymes that um, help in digestion, such as enzymes or bicarbonate or whatever organ we're talking about. 
Uh, it contains a lot of folds. There is a lot of folds of the muco mucosal layer. You can see that in this cross section here where we have all these folds of these villi right here and in this picture here where we have all the folds that line the lumen right here. Our next layer is the submucosal layer. This contains glands that secrete substances and enzymes. Uh, in this layer there's a lot of blood vessels, a lot of nerves, and uh, a lot of lymph vessels that control absorption. Uh, this layer is also responsible for nourishing surrounding tissues. So this layer will bring healthy oxygen oxygenated blood uh, to the muscles that we use in our next layer, which is the mucosal layer. So we have in most of the alimentary canal we have two layers that contract in opposite directions to move food through. Um, the, the moving of food through the alimentary canal is called peristalsis. That's this word right here. You can sort of think of that movement uh, of muscles kind of like X and Y, if you remember from, from math. Um, X is a left to right movement and Y is an up and down movement. They, they basically work in opposite directions of each other. However, the stomach actually has three layers. So uh, it actually has an X, Y, and a Z. A Z is that in and out layer. So the stomach is, is, uh, is pictured here. This is a really, really muscular bag. Food will come into here, and it can be mushed and pushed around pretty much any way that it wants to, wants to go. And then finally, the outermost layer is our serous layer. That is uh, there for protection as well as secreting serous fluid that lubricates organs from sticking to each other. Anyway, that concludes um, the four layers uh, that line the alimentary canal. Again, this was Mr. Herbst. Have a nice day, folks. I'm signing off.